Hi guys, so today is another day where we're doing some wedding planning, which I love to do. Today is fun because we are actually having like my mom, Caleb's mom, and Caleb all going to, well essentially where our venue is, and then they're doing like a tasting and like I think some vendors are going to be there and they might have tables set up. I don't really know what to expect too much, just that we'll be eating and that's about it. But um, let's ignore the, uh, the spot on my nose. We're going to pretend that is not there because I went to the dermatologist this week and they wanted to freeze off something on my nose and it's blistering. It's just part of the process. As long as it's gone by my wedding, I think we'll be good to go. But we're just getting more that it's there. It's just part of life. So anyways, otherwise I got ready today, which rarely happens. I'm having a good hair day. These curls I'm letting set. These are the only ones I curled that aren't my natural curl because of course the front pieces are the most stubborn, but everything else is my natural curl, which I am learning to do the curly curl method. The last thing that we did that was like wedding planning was um, Caleb went and got his tux, which I can show a clip here. You could have taken it in here and you could have got like 15 angles in one shot. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean I could. You gotta, you gotta walk up in here. And, turn uh, and then I'm like, there's too many Caleb's. I can't take you seriously. You can't get any of your pictures done without me because you <laughs> you will be such a little turnhead. <laughs> Alright, All right, so we got one more thing we need to do. Okay. And so, well essentially we didn't get a tux, we picked out what the tux that he wanted to rent from Men's Warehouse and so um, they just have like this, the basic like black look um, to try on. We're not super in love with like the whole fit, but we'll get to go again and make sure that everything's perfect like a month before the wedding I guess. So um, essentially that is what we're doing for his tux, So, um, but we're gonna go with more of a charcoal gray color. Not the black that was shown and hopefully have a better fit for him once the time comes and we have like a real legit measuring session. So um, he didn't know I was filming him and so we were just uh, had him messing around with the mirrors and he was just making jokes as usual. But I loved every second of that. It was fun to see him all dressed up because the last time I've seen him like that was prom. We weren't each other's dates. We were just friends and I didn't look at him like that at all. So it was nice to like actually see him in a nice tux. And he got a haircut right before that, which was his first like real haircut that I haven't done. And I don't cut hair. I just buzz his hair off. So, um, and he looked really handsome in my opinion. So yeah, I'm excited to see him, you know, come August when we get married for him walking down the aisle or me, I guess I would be me walking towards him down the aisle in his tuxedo and I'll the rest of the day anyways we're going to it's right next to the wedding venue it's the ballroom mine's the garden pavilion it's confusing whatever but it's essentially near the venue um and i'm driving with caleb and his mom probably won't talk anymore just because i'll be around people but i will probably try to show like just some things that um, we're doing and stuff without actually like verbally talking about it <laughs> Photographer is gonna love this. Mm -hmm. Are they great? No. How many did I take? 40. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, this is the third time I've tried to film this. We are in the thick of the coronavirus, and I have had a little time on my hands to go ahead and edit this video. This video kind of started in about January of this year. It's currently April. My wedding is in August, so I'm really hoping and praying that everything is back to normal by then. So in January, we officially saw the venue. I saw it with my mom previously when we put a deposit down in, uh, I think, what was it, October? And so this was the first time Caleb and his mom had seen it, but that is when we officially showed them kind of the vision of like at least what my mom and I were thinking for everything. And just like anybody else, we've been using Pinterest as inspiration. 
Our colors are like a dusty blue and a light blush pink color. Um, we really want it to be elegant and kind of like and feels upscale but not feels that makes people feel like they're not welcome or comfortable there. So we're just doing a lot of little detail stuff. With that though, there's a lot of things we are choosing to DIY ourselves. Fortunately for my mom and I, we are really creative people. We have craft room. This room is my office and craft room in Caleb's house. So, you know, when we're married, it would be a lot harder to do a lot of DIYing if we didn't already know how to do everything. I couldn't imagine trying to learn how to do these things and then having such like an important event to be making these for. Um, I actually am considering opening an Etsy shop so that I could sell these different types of items. If that ever happens, I will link them in the description below. So I started off with a base idea of doing a floral design with our color scheme and then using that consistently throughout all of the things that we designed. So from table numbers to reserve signs to our invites, we'll have the same floral design that I created myself. I wanted it to be kind of custom. And it's also really fun to say that I created my own wedding design. So within all of the DIYing we've been doing, it really has only took like two weeks of like truly sitting down and doing the DIYs. There's a lot of signage and things that happen for a wedding, telling people welcome and this is where you're seat sitting. And we made all of those ourselves. Um, fortunately, we have a Cricut and we know how to use it. So a combination of me knowing how to design on Procreate on my iPad and then also using my the Cricut that my mom has to create all these things. We ended up making the reserve signs and we did the bridesmaids cups and pajamas. We decided we were gonna do pajamas for the day and then I ended up making bags for them. I even figured out how to do wax seals which we'll be doing for the favors for everybody and then also on the invitation. Um, but you can do those ahead of time so that's something else that I'm learning to do. So when I design all these things, I'm kind of particular in a lot of aspects in life but specifically my wedding and um, I really wanted to keep things pretty consistent across the board. So what I did was I, when I started to design things, I just decided on a script font and then also like a pretty basic um, straight font that I will always have like caps locked and all that stuff so that everything that we create will have some sort of consistency throughout along with the floral design that we have. Another big task that we took on is um, doing our own arbor. Our venue doesn't provide one for you. You can rent it if you wanted, but it's really inexpensive to find copper at like a hardwood store. And so my mom and I have created an arbor piece that found inspiration of on Pinterest. And so we have been just making all these things. A lot of things that we are making are um, acrylic. I'm not really a barn wood rustic bride. I'm very like modern acrylic, things like that. And so um, it's really easy and simple. You can go find those things either on Amazon or you can even go to a hardware store. I found mine at Home Depot for a lot of things as well. I definitely would not recommend this level of DIY for anybody who's not used to doing this much DIYing. My mom on the side does party planning is her hobby and so like this is totally normal this is what I grew up with she always had me help or get my input on stuff so this is totally not new to us at all so here is our storage room where we keep all of the wedding stuff for right now whereas we get things organized as far as any other updates my dress came in which was beautiful I was honestly really nervous about it beforehand um, just because I was like, I really like picked out, like I only had like a couple dresses that I liked in the previous video that I did. Um, I tried on, I showed two different dresses and those were the only two dresses I actually liked that I tried on. And obviously I blurred out the one that I got, but I was like, I feel like I like jumped into it too quick. Cause then I kept getting like Facebook ads on these other beautiful dresses. And I'm like, did I jump into it? Like, it, is it, do I really love it? But then once I came in and then I got it to fit really well it was like okay yes this is the dress i love wearing this dress i can't wait to wear this dress and walk towards caleb down the aisle and so i'm really excited um it's beautiful and um my my family has caught me <laughs> trying it on a couple times we finally got our bridesmaid dresses order in late february and so they should be done in the next couple weeks they are custom from an etsy shop which, and so everybody has a different style all in the same color and same um, material and so um, I thought it would be crazy to try to have one single silhouette fit so many different body shapes. I just let everybody pick out from a list of them that I had. So that is officially the update on pretty much everything that's going on. I'm sure I missed something because we just have so many little details that we've been working on. Unfortunately, our bachelorette bachelor party, which we were going to go all together to Nashville, got canceled or postponed. I probably won't see it happening this year just because 
we don't know what's going to happen with all the corona stuff and it just was already hard enough to get everybody's schedule lined up for that one weekend that we had to end up canceling. Also had to postpone my bridal shower which we're hoping that it will be good to go by the end of May so that we can have the second one which hopefully we don't just send out another we are changing the date again so um it's been fun to just try to navigate through this coronavirus situation. Um, my heart goes out to anybody else planning their wedding this summer and the spring not knowing whether or not things are going to work out. I'm a videographer and photographer and I'm like stressed out for my couples that I have for weddings this year and I just I can't imagine what they're going through because I have until August which is four months away which hopefully feels like it will be a good enough time for things to go back to normal. We do have a plan B which I think is smart for anybody planning a wedding in 2020 to just have a plan B ready to go. I hope everyone is doing well in this time and that this is a video that can hopefully brighten your day and get you excited about your own wedding and for fun for me to look back on and like go through what I was thinking during this time. So I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.